What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we have the fourth gen 4Runner back for some extras. We're gonna add the gas can and gas can carrier, as well as his new spare tire for the swing out that we built in the last series. So basically what we're gonna do is create a template where we can have this same pattern that'll go onto the swing out. And then from here, we'll have some tubing and then the gas can carrier right here. These holes here, are the lug pattern, but in just three spots. That's how we have the swing out. So I'm gonna drill into these, and then this is gonna be the plate where we have the gas can carrier hold it up to. So I went ahead and bored the holes out just a little bit more. That way they slide in and hit the weld on the actual plate. Now I'm gonna cut these up right here and then we're gonna mount it, get a template for the hub here on the wheel and then start the fabrication for the piece that comes out of this onto the gas can carrier. is definitely looking a lot more crazier than it was when it was here last time now i'm going to work on the mount that comes out of here and get that welded on so the way this mount works is obviously this goes on to the lug pattern on the swing out and we have this tube sticking out and inside of this tube we're going to have a slightly smaller tube that goes in it we're going to put two holes here that way we can put a nut and bolt set here and a nut and bolt here to keep it secure and then on that secondary tube is where the actual gas can is going to be mounted. Just like that. So in order to create a gas can carrier, basically what I need to do is create a little cage that this can sit in, and then we're going to have a latch right here that closes it off, and then a latch right here for a lock similar to this one. The reason I didn't cut this all the way through is because I'm going to be putting a bend here, a bend here, and also a bend here. This end is going to be welded to this end. All right, so that's perfect. We got more than enough room in here. So now on the back side of this, I'm gonna weld on this tube right here.
right, so next, we're gonna basically build a frame for this. We're gonna have some angled steel here, angled steel here, and we'll create a bottom piece as well. This is not gonna be enough to, well, the back is not gonna be enough to support it really strong. So I'm also gonna add two pieces here or one long piece here in the back, and then we'll start the latch. All right, this is what we got so far. I'm just gonna add the angled pieces that go here, and then from here to there, and all the way around. And then on top, we get some flat sock all the way around. So this is halfway welded up. Just have a few spots around it to finish up. Looks like we fit perfectly. Next, I'm gonna be welding these on. We're gonna have one back here. That way the entire top can open up. Then we're gonna have another right around here. That way we can get it into a spot where it can lock up. Here's the gas can carrier all welded up. Still gotta clean it up. Still gotta get it ready for paint. But I also wanted to show you this slot here for a lock. As you can see, it's it perfect. This will prevent anybody from trying to get in here, trying to steal this, because unfortunately people do suck. I'm gonna get it mocked up onto the swing out, get the wheel on it, and then see how it looks. Oh yeah. You know what, actually? That is killer. You know what? Actually, that is fucking awesome. It's the craziest thing. One of the craziest forerunners I think I've ever seen. All right, so from here, I think what I'm gonna do is shorten this up a bit. That way we get this closer to the tire and then get everything cleaned up and then painted and then reinstalled, all completed. All right, so at this point, everything is nice and cleaned up. I'm still gonna go over all of it and just sand it down, get it scratched up real nice for paint. And I also cut out this piece of ABS plastic. And this is basically just gonna be a nice little platform for the actual gas can to rest on. Also drilled our holes here for the bolt that goes through here, capped this off, that way nothing gets in this either. So here we have the entire gas can carrier all complete. We have the mount all complete. Here's the hardware that goes into the holes that we drilled in here and also back here. Our ABS piece for the gas can to sit on, the lug nuts that are gonna be going on the tire carrier, and of course, the gas can. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and install all of this. And of course, almost forgot this meaty ass tire. First, we're gonna install the mount that goes onto the tire carrier. Now that this is on here, we're gonna mount the wheel and tire on it. Now that the wheel is mounted, we're gonna tighten it down. Now we're going to slide in the actual gas can carrier. This 
So from here, we're gonna slide in the bolt and then tighten it at the bottom. And a washer and nut at the bottom. Now we're going to add our ABS insert. Now we're going to pop this open and get our gas can inside. Here's our completed gas can carrier, gas can spare tire mounted onto the swing out that we built. You can never go wrong with a gas can carrier and gas can setup. You never know what kind of situations you might end up in. And if you ever run out of gas in a situation where there are no gas stations anywhere to be found, this right here is going to save you. That is going to be the end of this video for the gas can carrier. Now we're going to go shoot some footage actually for a promo that we're doing for this forerunner. So stay tuned for that. As always, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for subscribing to the channel and supporting this business. See you guys next time.